so Black Panther is out there, and I, of course, like I do with pretty much every Marvel Studios movie, ended up getting the art book for it, which gives us plenty of looks at different aspects of the film that we might not see in the final product, or ever, really, just because there's a lot of conceptual art that kind of gets reworked, and then it's, uh, when we see it in the final form, it's, of course, kind of taking pieces of various other concept arts and putting them together. Today, we're going to be looking at one of these that I found rather interesting. And over the course of the next couple of days, I will be talking about many other ones that I found to be very cool or unique in some aspect. So today, let's look at one of them. So the one we are going to be talking about today is definitely something that comic book fans will recognize. Now, while this one is way more armored than I was thinking they would do when they actually came to like adapt this look from the comic into the movie, what I really like about it is that it is in fact the armor that features the cape and the collar that Black Panther is known for having occasionally in the comics. And when you look at it here, it definitely has a lot of gold vibranium running through it. And I'm guessing that this was just a design that eventually got reworked into what Eric Killmonger would be wearing. Now, of course, we could still end up seeing this at some point down the road in a sequel or maybe in Avengers 4 or something. But what I would like is if they used it in sort of a ceremonial type of deal like they did with um, Thor in the first Thor movie. Like, you know, the helmet, they always find a way not to put it on Thor. It's because it's just kind of distracting and fighting with it kind of wouldn't be making a lot of sense. And when you look at it this way... This would make a lot of sense if he maybe puts this on for like some sort of special event or something, and then that's really that. But I'm okay if they don't really use it in any other sort of capacity, just because I love what his armor looked like anyway, so I'm okay with it. And when you look at the cast and crew of the Black Panther, you can see that they all have these unique-looking outfits, so maybe that's just a way they can incorporate it in the future. 